Okay, so here I have a map of uh, Philadelphia. And uh, right now I'm going to be adding a north arrow to my map. And by default, the north arrow will always use uh, grid north or true north, uh, where all uh, meridians converge at the North Pole. So when I drop my north arrow onto my map and click the north arrow button, you know, I, I'm using UTM uh, zone 18, doesn't matter. Uh, they're all going to point uh, up with respect to, uh, to the UTM zone. However, we've added the ability to, to specify your own custom uh, north or your own custom coordinate for uh, your north arrow to point to. So by default, like I said, true north uh, will be the, the north that it points to, or you can use a custom coordinate. So here, I, when I created this document, I used magnetic north, and currently magnetic north isn't too far off from true north, uh, so we're not going to see too much of a change. So when I click OK, you can see, let me try and, uh, if I undo and redo a bunch of times, you can see there's a, a slight shift uh, in my north arrow with respect to where it's pointing. So you're no longer just limited to using true north, uh, you can use uh, magnetic north or any kind of coordinate you want. Uh, then for the uh, replicate attributes, when releasing a compound path, you can find this in Map Publisher Preferences uh, under the Map Attributes category. And it's just the, the first checkbox there. And so there are two ways to get this uh, preference working properly. So the first one, uh, if you had a chance to read it on the slide, if you haven't imported your data, what you'll want to do is you'll want to enable this option and then restart Illustrator. That way, uh, when you do import your data after the restart, uh, releasing your compound paths will, let me see if I can do an example here. I don't think I have any compound paths in this data set. It looks like everything's uh, individual. However, if, if you do release a compound path by default, everything, all of the attributes are lost, they re reset to the uh, default value. Uh, so it's sometimes handy to use that uh, preference to replicate the attributes to the uh, compound path components. Uh, the other uh, important uh, thing you may want to keep in mind, if you're modifying an existing file, uh, for example, you've already imported your data, you'll have to enable this option, edit the attribute schema in some way, uh, for example, add an attribute and then delete it after, and then once you uh, release the compound path, your attributes will be replicated. 